foremost, welcome to the Phoebe Way. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for returning. If you are new to this channel, my name is Phoebe. And on this channel, we share information about life in Germany, legal updates. We talk about how to make our life in Germany easier. So as tradition demands, we will talk about the legal changes, the legal updates, what has changed that concerns you living in Germany as a foreigner, okay? And stick to the end, like stick with me to the end of the video because I'm going to give you reminders on things that you should look out for and things that have already been in action and you should, you know, stay active on so you don't forget those things. Good. Let's start. Number one. As always, I start with the Corona updates and I believe this is probably the last time we're going to talk about the Corona updates because the last bit of the rules have been scrapped. It was left with the mandatory mask when you go to the hospital as a visitor and the testing. Now, you don't have to do that anymore except the hospital themselves are saying you should because they want to protect their patients and their staff. But normally, now as from the 7th of April, today is the, the 8th of April. So you're free, you don't have to do that anymore. That is one thing. Number two, two changes when it comes to taxes is the Arbeitnehmer Pauschale, that is the employee lump sum. So the government is now assuming that the expenses that you make related to your work or to your employment is higher. So it's now it's it's now 1,230. And another thing that has also been increased is the tax-free allowance for single parents that is now 4260 and then additional 240 euros for all for other children or for extra children so that is the two things that has happened in taxes okay the next point is that when you are sick you cannot just pick up the phone and tell your doctor that i have um, cold symptoms and i need um the sick leave um beshiny gong you cannot get that anymore now you would have to go to see the doctor themselves so they give you the crank meldung, okay? So your sick leave notes, you cannot just do it per phone anymore. You would have to be seen or have to go in to the doctor's place and get it. The next thing is that if you are now getting your driver's license, if you are now studying for the driver's license, please check and know that they are adding 44 questions, 44 new questions to the exam questions, okay? So if you're using this Learn app, make sure that you have downloaded the most current update okay make sure that you have the very latest version of the learn app so that you would have these 44 questions to use or just know them so you can you know revise and rehearse and all of that yes and also deutsche bahn has you know in some cities i believe it's dortmund or let's just say well let me put it this way because of construction in these following cities okay up until the 14th of April since the 31st of March, um, there's going to be some in some routes are not going to be you know used anymore. So they have been cancelled. The the rides on those routes have been cancelled. And so if you are planning to travel to these specific cities or travel out of these specific cities or to or from or whatever, if your travel plans include these following cities, watch out. It's Duisburg, Dortmund, Essen, Bochum, Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf and Mülheim. Okay, these cities are not having regular connection up until 14th of April. The way we know Deutsche Bahn and how things go is probably going to be longer, but I'm not going to be the one who is going to be the, you know, um, Hiobs Botschafter. I'm, I'm going to be the bearer of bad news, but it is what it is. They will extend it. So just be aware that this month of April, things are not going to be smooth. When it comes to the clients of Microsoft, those who use the Microsoft Cloud, they are increasing their prices now. So don't be surprised. Keep an eye out and see. If you don't want to know how you can get out of it. Okay. Good. The Deutschland ticket, the pre-sale is starting. Okay. It started actually this April, like beginning of April. Now, I say pre-sale because the ticket is supposed to come in May. But now you can make your, your pre-purchase and so that by the 1st of May, you will just up and go. But one thing you should know is that if you're a student, if you're an employee, they are trying to see whether they would still get their subsidies, you know, and their cheaper pricing. And not all of us have to pay the 49 euros. So if you're a student, maybe you should wait a bit 
and see what will happen if you've not gotten your semester tickets yet but if you're a student you should probably wait a bit and see what is going to happen with that last week last month sorry last month we talked about the Einmal Zahlung for the students and Auszubildende Berufsfachschule. Nee, hold up. Fachschule. You know, you know what I'm saying? The Auszubildende, the ones who go to Berufsfachschule. Yes, so if you're a student or a pupil at the Berufsfachschule. Listen, this German words would kill me. But you get it. And you have not got to your 200 euros. Wake up. Go get it, okay? This is your friendly reminder to go do that. And apart from that, the month of April, it's Easter weekend now. So happy Easter. Tomorrow is a holiday. If you are not aware, Easter Monday is a holiday. So make sure that you get, you've gotten your things already. If not, you have to wait till Tuesday. I'm sorry. But yes, this is the end of the video. If you have any questions, comment the questions down below. If you have not followed me yet on my social media platforms, it's the Phoebe Way on Facebook, the Phoebe Way on Twitter, the Phoebe Way on TikTok, the Phoebe Way on Instagram. All right. If you have questions that you don't want everybody to hear about, it's LDV with Phoebe at gmail.com. Because a lot of people have been asking me, so I'm saying it now. LDV with Phoebe at gmail.com. I'm going to bring you new information on renting in Germany. That is coming up. There were some scams that are, there are some scams that are going on. I've experienced one myself and thanks I didn't fall for it. So if you want to know about that, stay glued to this channel and stay subscribed. Activate the notification button. So that whenever I upload, you will know. All right, guys, have a good one and see you with the up legal updates next month. Bye.